All right. I, I, you guys did it again to me. I know what you're trying to do to me. You guys posted this video by Obsidian Ant, and guess what he's talking about? Elite Dangerous. Now, my God, man, this game is past dead. This is post-mortem. This is buried. I, I don't even want to talk about this game anymore. Like, the game is legit dead. It's deader than dead. <laughs> okay? Now I'm seeing Frontier. I'm looking at this title right now. Like, it is a giant fart. It's a giant fart right now. Like, I, I called it. I called it when Odyssey came out. There were plenty of people that disagreed with me. Erad, my own friend, the Eradicator, disagreed with me and said that Odyssey was great. When it came out, he's like, oh, Odyssey's great. He later came out with an apology. He said he was wrong. He said DG was right. And I would just like to applaud the man for being a man and admitting he was wrong. <laughs> the game is dead, okay? It's it's not even worthy of being called dead. That's how bad dead it, this, this dead game is. Now I'm looking at this title from Obsidian Ant saying that Frontier reset the player war efforts, and this is just all types of triggering to me. I was calling this game dead way, way long ago, before Odyssey. And why was I calling this game dead, everyone? Anybody who knows me, anybody who's watched me for years can answer it very simply. There was no danger. There was no danger to Elite Dangerous. The irony of having a game have dangerous in the title, okay, and yet not have any danger in it is frankly absurd. <laughs> One of the things that really got me the most about the Elite Dangerous community, and I'm not talking about everybody in it. Listen, there is a time and place for wanting a game that is just kind of like a solo space trucking experience where you're doing your own thing. I am not ragging on that. What I am ragging on are the developers, not the people that play the game. What I am upset about, and that's the confusion. So every time I start on a rant with Elite Dangerous, you see all the gamers that play Elite Dangerous get pissed off at me. And I'm like, dudes, I was one of the original people playing Elite Dangerous. I feel like I am authority of some sorts or I, or my opinion somewhat matters because I had a series where I taught PvP. I was heavily involved in Elite Dangerous before Star Citizen. And I love the game. I love the atmospherics of it. I like the flight experience i liked it some people said it was slow i personally liked it i liked the fact that i could have dog fights in it i didn't like a lot of things i didn't like engineers i think engineers ruined it i didn't like the it was a grind fest it's a grind fest to get to the point where you want to have a pvp interaction and people come to the videos that i make about elite dangerous and they go when's the last time you played elite dangerous you don't know anymore Are you Guys, the reason I'm talking about, the, this is the most important thing. <laughs> I was championing the game. I wanted it to be professional. I wanted it to be a good experience. You understand? The criticism I was giving Elite Dangerous that I have for the many years I've covered it is so that possibly some of it could land inside the head via the ears and the eyes of the Frontier developers who literally hate me. <laughs> they they hate me. I'm telling you this because I'm, I wanted the game to be much more. I wanted danger to be in the game, you understand. Yes. Yes, Starlet says Elite Dangerous means you are the danger. You have to be the danger in the game. And that's what I brought to it. I had a series called Bringing the Dangerous because way back, Six years ago, maybe even seven years ago, I saw this flaw in design. I saw this flaw in the game design, which was, hey, where are people having fun in terms of like PvP? Uh, how can you have a, 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 an experience in space where you feel like it's dangerous? <laughs> space is dangerous. Now, the devs have screwed up in so many different ways. Now, I read this title from Obsidian Ant, Frontier Reset the Player War Efforts, which that to me, just, just the title is tilting me. Just the title. I'm getting, I'm feeling blood rushing to my head right now, and I'm probably going to explode 
as I do when I watch anything Elite Dangerous related. Let's go. Frontier have reset all global community efforts in the Great Thargoid War. It turns out this is the intended mechanics of the in-game war simulation. Here's how it works. The Thargoids invade a particular star system. The players are then given a set time frame to repel the Thargoids before the star system becomes abandoned. This may be seven weeks. Now, during this time, players will conduct war efforts. Maybe this will be destroying the Thargoids outright fighting them, or maybe it will be humanitarian aid via rescuing people from the damaged stations. Either way, all of this... Alright, well, I mean, like, the graphics are dated. The graphics are definitely dated. You know, like, you, you, you're just looking at the game, the graphics are dated. We need, like, updates on graphics. They don't have the manpower anymore. They don't... Because of all the bad decisions, they can't allocate the money towards Frontier or, or towards Elite Dangerous like they should. Brabin's gone. You know, I, I here's the thing. Brabin always focused on exploration and no danger. All Elite, no dangerous. It was all Elite. It was all geared towards solo play. And, and you know, and, and, and people's the counter argument to my argument is there's plenty of people out there who's going to say well dg elite dangerous is never an mmo is never designed to be an mmo but like here's the thing you had a playground there you did have a, a chance to uh get entangled with other players okay so you know in terms of it being a true mmo okay you got me on that one but really the spices the the flavors the the, the notes of danger there should be something there that you have this player to player interaction, you know, and it's so difficult to have it, like a, a confrontation with anybody that's a human gamer because it's so vast. You know, it is a technical marvel that Elite Dangerous has billions of star systems, but my God, right? You've got it spread out so vast, right? For the exploration side of things. Okay, great. But it's it's so thin in terms of actual depth. You've got it spread so thin, like like icing on the top of a cake. But the icing only goes down like a quarter of an inch. And who does who who likes cake with barely any icing on it? You see what I'm saying? The icing has to be super. It has to be buttercream, man. It has to be laid on thick on the cake. You understand what I'm saying? It can't be just like a thin layer. And that that layer of systems in in, in the, the the billion of systems, star systems, and elite dangerous is as vast a technical wonder as that is. It spread the player base out beyond all comparison in, like of any other game. So basically, player retention, man. The only players that decided to stay were the players that decided to be explorers or do solo. And and the PvP community is non-existent. They tried to do something called CQC, which was their version of a battlefield between players that wanted to fight one another that basically is a flop because the pvp community completely left years ago and they've done nothing they they've done nothing to help bring that back which is really really in my in my argument here i would say bring the pvp community back this is where this is this is how it brings excitement danger brings excitement it brings eyes it brings new players to the game the danger has to be there. Star Citizen is is a great uh, example of this, where you got a game that's uh, in an alpha form for for a decade now, right? And you still get people to play it with all the bugs, and you know why they do? Because there's danger in it. Something might happen. There is a chance of meeting up with another player, and that is actually exciting. Believe it or not, even for people I'm that you. don't like it, thank you, thank you, my community sub gives this man. Swap, very legendary, dude. Thank you for the support. Next time it's gonna be thank you, Box Swapper. Ah! So, thank you very much, Box Swapper. I, I appreciate you, man. Thank you so much, dude. But, do you understand what I'm trying to say here, everyone? <laughs> I'm trying to tell you the danger is a very important uh, uh, des game design feature in any game. The element of danger is the draw. That is the thing that brings new eyes, new players, new gamers to the project. The danger. Because it's chaos. You don't know what to expect. It's the fun. And even people that don't necessarily like player-to-player -player interaction or PvP, right? You got to admit, deep down, it, it's spicy. And it brings people in. And that's why Star Citizen, even in its format where there's bugs, 
is continually bringing new people in. That's why there was an exodus of people after Odyssey was released from Elite Dangerous Odyssey that didn't like it, me included. I thought it was a giant piece of garbo. I literally think it was a hot, stinking piece of garbo they released. They rushed it way too fast, and it's not really what anybody wanted. The space ladies that we got, they were horrible. Thank you, Reach. How we do the danger zone? Very important high effort. Thank you. Thank you, Luigi. Yes, you can. So I will always argue for that in terms of, like, bringing – players new players to a game the success of the project is to continually bring in new players and to keep them there right the keeping them there is the hard part but but frontier didn't even do that frontier couldn't even bring eyes to it right and how many people were like oh odyssey's gonna kill star citizen or odyssey's is is gonna bring actually what we want to the game and boy did it it was a just giant stinking turd right and that's why Elite Dangerous is all elite. I mean, like, it, it, it's not the gamer base that I'm, when, I, when I'm critiquing, when I'm ranting about Elite Dangerous, it's not the gamers. It's not their fault. <laughs> it's the fault of the developers. It's the people making the game, designing it. I, I was, I've been preaching about this for years, and they know it, and they continually push it aside. It, it, it boggles my mind that me, as a content creator, as a, as a guy sitting here in my basement with a green screen, who, who really only has experience in development and game development by covering it for 10 years, but I'm not a developer, but I've been doing it so long, I, I know the many nuances, the, the little niches, if you will, of game development, right? But I'm not a developer, and it boggles my mind that I know more than the people that are actually the developers. The green screen does help. Thank you, Kita. Yeah, yes, yes. The green... <laughs> Pepe! The green screen helps. Thank you. Very, very, very high quality here. Thank you, Kita. Welcome, dude. Good to see you. So let's keep going because I'm, I'm, um, Elite Dangerous videos are perhaps my most ranty, long, preachy videos that I've I understand. And I apologize. I apologize. This global community collective effort contributes towards successfully repelling the Targoids. Assuming that is, the community reaches 100% on that particular star system's war effort progress bar. There is a twist, however, and players recently discovered this much to their surprise. It turns out that the players are given just 7 days to repel the Thargoids. Whatever progress is reached within that seven day time frame, do? if it isn't 100%, Th so maybe it's, it's 50%, maybe it's 99%, <laughs> anything less than 100% will be a reset at the end of the seventh I mean, day and graphics, set back to man. zero. Updated. So that means all of the community effort that is put into defending and protecting a particular SAR system counts for nothing unless 100% completion is reached. What's but up, E-Rat? How you minute. doing, buddy? Didn't I just say that the community gets a time window yes, to complete Tookie. this yes. war effort? Maybe so. Yes, 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 yes. And now they have the the most skeleton crew at Frontier because of all the bad decisions that they've made over the years. Even David can't handle it. He's like, this is a stinking pile of poo that I'm walking away from. Even David said enough. David resigned. He's done. He said, I can't, I don't know. I see, think deep inside he had to walk away from it. <laughs> He's like, enough of this. There is a skeleton crew now, Frontier Dev. And, and you know, it's because of bad decision making. Bad decision making. making. Seven weeks. Well, it turns out, yes, that is the case. But oh, it's not you a read total it. It's hard biz, weeks. isn't it? Instead, Look at it these is things. seven chances. What is this? So if players have seven weeks to repel the Thargoid effort, Look Each week, this. that progress is, is reset. Hold on a second. <laughs> so bad. Like, what is this? What is this thing? Some type of jellyfish with a with a like? What am I looking at, man? Some type of merry-go-round jellyfish. Like <laughs> the fart sound. Dude. Unless it reaches 100%, it's so therefore 7 salad. chances, salad. just 5 weeks, 5 chances, 6 weeks, 6 chances, Morning. and Incoming so on. Salad vibes. Now in terms of when this actually plays 
out. Horrible. Well, it turns out that the community have been conducting massive efforts to wage war and defend the system <laughs> against you, the Thargoids oh, they're asking in for the star sound. system. Hit Listen, two, three, I can't deny seven, my fans. One, six. Sorry, oh, sorry, sorry. some sorry. stats for that. You can see one of the top hip sorry, two, three, sorry. seven, one, six. Total population of 1. Is asked for, million. Will be given. Total kill rate of 158,000. Along with 1.6 million rescues. Very interesting, actually, because that is a huge chunk of the population. 1.6 million people out of 1.8 million were rescued. So, how did all of this measure? Well, it gave a little over 50% completion rate for that particular star system. It seemed quite natural that within the second week of the war, players would be able to continue on from that uh, kill rate, <laughs> that percentage rate, and eventually reach 100%. However, that wasn't to be the case, as on the server tick, this was reset back to 0%. And no, it's not a bug. This is completely intended, as you can see here by this forum post uh. from Frontier. Understandably, players are very surprised it actually works this way, and some are even disheartened. It seemed like quite a wasted effort after all, doesn't it? Personally, I'd even go... This is what you're disheartened by? I mean, like, if you're disheartened by this, you should have been disheartened for the fact that they're making every wrong decision possible and they're pooping all over your game. Like, really, it shouldn't just be this. This is minor. This is a big deal, but this is minor compared to the bad decisions that, that Frontier Development has made throughout this whole journey. It was far to say that this is an another bad weird decision. game design choice. And another one. Why Frontier would do this is really a mystery. Obviously, the Thargoid War is very new, so that means, well, as with many wars, Why do you wanna... the initial phase of things can be very, very devastating. Yeah. The Who Thargoids wants to fight have turned up around... Independence Day style, causing <laughs> devastation across the jellyfish. System. It makes sense that the human efforts that humanity itself was caught off guard and faced massive cataclysms. So yeah, repelling some of this or even any of it in the first week would be very, very unlikely indeed. So the way to deal with this, how could Frontier have deal, dealt with this in another way? Well, <laughs> they just controlled so nice. the numbers, they controlled the difficulty. Right, right, if they don't want right, players right. to reach 100% <laughs> right. within a set time frame, just like, change the kill rate, hurt. just adjust the uh, rescue ratio that's the needed, real issue or whatever is else, to reach so that 100%. So you slow players down, well, they're actually noticing or actually feel, oh. or feeling that they have been slowed down. What you don't do is reset their efforts. You don't reset all of their finish. work back to zero. That is, well, 101 in game design, I would have thought. Very, very odd. Now, Frontier have said it's likely they will be looking at the numbers here and adjusting them accordingly to make things either easier or more difficult, depending on what they feel is appropriate. What they haven't said, though, is whether or not they will change the reset mechanics. The numbers themselves, how difficult or how hard it is to repel Thargoids from a particular star system, really is a moot point. Again, <laughs> it's the reset that is a contentious subject. Now, stepping away from that for just a moment and looking <laughs> None. at the broader picture, None, we do Duncan. know that all of this is a part of an ongoing narrative for Elite. Now, the Thargoids are here. They're going to invade. They're going to cause chaos. Frontier have Listen, the Thargoids is a failed concept. The Thargoids initially was, a, was I think, a nice little refreshing break. But, man, we've gone way too long with these Thargoids. You know, like, these Thar this is such a failed concept right now. I mean, enough with the Thargoids, man. And Thargoids. I mean, really. Can we come up with a better name? Thargoids? Like, really? Confirmed that at some point they will wipe out the bubble. I feel bubble. like the aliens were named by a third grader. Challenge, that is. Ultimately, Thargoids. it all means there are more parts to this story that we haven't yet seen. <laughs> Boom! That means Boom, likely Jay. new technologies will be developed. Maybe there'll be a deus ex machina of the gods coming down and saving humanity from the Thargoids. Maybe there'll be another salvation-like character. Or perhaps... Frontier will Lots give Roy new talk advanced today. weaponry that players will have to unlock. <laughs> All of this, of course, over time, could well make it easier to defeat the said Thargoids, defeat these, uh, or make it easier for the whole war effort. So, so yeah, quite these naturally, crazy no -go -round the jellyfish clowns. Will, uh, think, suspect, and expect that the Thargoid war, the Thargoid conflict, is indeed going to be a very difficult, and is indeed going to be <laughs> a challenge, as it should. It's also likely Kong that over time, as players get used win. to how the Very mechanics work, win. as well as as new in-game technology gets unlocked, the whole process will become somewhat easier. 
Although, in a way, that does beg another question, doesn't it? If things are guaranteed or expected to get easier in the future as new gameplay becomes available or new assets, technology, modules, weapons, whatever, become available, what is the point in playing for the moment? Why not wait for this future technology? I think we'll end it on that. What is the point in playing? Thank you, Obsidian. Like, really? Like, what is the point of playing it? Period. Not even just... Not just for the war efforts, not for this this event that's going on, but what is absolutely the reason for playing it, period? It's, yeah, it's dead. Like, what is the point? There is no danger here. There's no excitement. Nothing is drawing me to this title anymore. It's shameful what they did. I'm shaming Frontier Development now. I'm going to continue to shame them. Shame. Guys, wake Shame. up. Shame. Insert real danger. Insert player-to-player -player interaction. I don't want to hear the excuse about, oh, well, this is an MMO. It's not even supposed to be that way. I don't want to hear elite answers. I don't want to hear the elite side of things. The elite side of things, the elitists that are playing the game, right? They will tell you. They will say, oh, I don't want that. If you listen to that very small voice, which is the loudest voice, and by the way, the loudest voice usually is not the, the largest proportion of the amount of people that are playing the game. Those are the Karens. Those are all the Karens. There's only a 2% population of the loud voices that are saying, we want everything elite. <laughs> That's why it has that elitist feel. That small 2% that, that voices up against, oh, God, if there's ever any player-to-player -player interaction, bring the dangerous to elite. Bring the danger to the elitists. I am so tired of this and talking about this seriously. What is the point of playing this game? I can't, Pepe, I can't even, like, I can't even, uh, Obsidian is way too nice. <laughs> Obsidian, you're way too nice, dude. I want to see Obsidian Ant rant. Obsidian, if you're watching, dude, please can I have a rant video? Can you please just break this ASMR character, which is your natural self, by the way. Just create another character inside your head, Obsidian. I want to hear an Obsidian rant. That would be gold. That would get you millions of views. <laughs> I want to hear a crazy Obsidian Ant. I want to hear Obsidian Ant going off. I want to hear Obsidian Ant getting angry. I want to. I want to. I want to feel the blood pressure being raised through my screen. I want. I want. To, I want him to have a meltdown. Obsidian, capture the beast, the rage inside. El corazón, el fuego. I want the fire and the heart. You understand, Obsidian? I want to feel the passion. I want to, all those years of suppressed rage, Obsidian, I want it to come out of you. I want it to spill forth. And I want you to seriously rant about what it is that you are having an issue with. Now, I know a lot of his fan base are elite dangerous fanboys. I know there's plenty of them out there, right? And, and, and it might risk him losing. It might risk him losing a large portion of his fan base. But I'm telling you, man, it would be epic. It would be very worth a watch to see a sitting ant just let go and tell us all in a in a in a in a ranting type way what he feels about Frontier and what he feels about Elite Dangerous. I would be like, man, mad respect if he did it. Obsidian, do it. You can do it. You can do this. Do it.